How are you going? So I'm out here at Livingston Primary School course. I haven't played this course before. Thought it might be a fun one to try out. And I'm here with the Battle of the Halo Innova Lids. So I have a Halo Polecat, Halo Sonic, and the new Halo Aero, which I'm quite excited to try out. None of these discs are in my bag. I've only just got the Aero, but the other two have been sitting on the shelf for ages after I threw them when I got them. So this will be a good chance to actually try them out, see if I like any of them and see if I'll bag any of them afterwards. All right, hole one, 50 something meters, should be a good test for these. I've come out on quite a windy day. There's quite a strong left to right wind. Given that these are floaty, it should interact with them weirdly. So let's see how they go. Starting with the aero. I like the flight on that. All right, Polecat's parked next to Sonic. <laughs> uh, that worked really well. Got my bin chicken mini. Oh, <laughs> that's floaty. This is actually a little bit of a comebacker. No problem. Okay, hole two. The basket is around here, down underneath that tree. So I'm gonna to need to have the discs finish left. So I need to give them a bit of hyzer, give them a bit of width and float over, hopefully. Uh, the polecat has the box. That was very, very close. That flew really nicely. A bit shorter, but not too bad. Now the arrow. Didn't give it a chance. So I've only just got the arrow. The Halo arrow's only been out a few months. I've had the Sonic and the Polecat for quite a while and I've got DX versions of both at home as well. So I thought I'd just give them all a test. I haven't actually bagged the Sonic or the Polecat. I just wanted one because I buy too many discs. But yeah, I thought this would be a good opportunity to give them all a throw, see if any might make the bag. This is also the first time I'm trying out my new microphone. I've got the Lark M1, trying that out in the wind. So let me know what you think, what it sounds like. Hopefully it's better than previous solutions. Right, hole three, nice little between the trees shot. Let's see how we go. Oh, very short. That's almost identical. Got to throw it harder than that. The arrow might have got one back there. Polecat with a circle two look. I think this is where these discs shine. Nice little floaty runs that'll drop down next to the basket if they don't go in. Drop down next to the basket. The sonic shot is almost identical. <laughs> Sonic takes a lead. It's a two for the arrow and a polecat tap in. Okay, so hole four, this one's a little bit longer at 62 meters. So Sonic has a box. Got to give it a little bit here, make sure I don't leave it short. We're aiming at the basket on the hill over there. So because there's a ni nice backstop, I can have a bit of a run at it. Turn, turn. A bit too much of a run. Polecat, somewhere between those two and it should be perfect. 
uh, yank that over a bit. Ooh, that's gonna be a tough putt. Oh, gave it too much. Okay. Ooh. That wind just whipping through. Oh, very good catch by the basket. Once again, I don't think my putt deserved that, but it caught. So thanks, Rad Baskets, for that. Four holes down, two to play. The Sonic is on neg four, the Aero on neg three, and the Polecat on neg two. Polecat's got to do some work on this hole. So for this one, it's another 60 metre hole. I, again, couldn't find the tee pad for this one. So it's kind of up in those trees right in the middle. So there would be a hyzer play normally, probably a hyzer forehand as well, or you could go straight at it, which I think is what I'm gonna try and do with each of these. Although with the right to left wind, the hyzer play might be the good option. Yeah, I'll go the hyzer. Sonic up first. Okay, the hyzer was the wrong play. Arrow straight at it. That should be a birdie. Oh no. It's not quite as bad as the Sonic, but it's out there. As I discovered before, these are quite good for floaty long looks. Especially with the hill behind it, I can have a run and not go too far. Yeah, that's fine. Right, this is actually makeable from the polecat, so I'm going to give this a decent effort. Oh, hit metal. One hole to play, and the arrow just joined the Sonic in first place. This is for the win. So this hole actually has a tee pad. This is also the longest hole of the course at 78 meters. So the basket is down there. So I don't know whether I can get slightly uphill 78 meters out of any of these discs. Probably the arrow's got the best chance, but I'll give them each a full rip and we'll see what happens. Arrow has the box, last shot for each of them. I gave that too much Annie and it cut rolled, but I've got an edge of circle look. That's a better shot. Oh, the wind really got a hold of that. Again, a cut roll on landing. Now I'll try and make these up shots. This wind is gonna play havoc with all of these. Give the Sonic a run. Oh, it just glides sideways. That's gonna be a tough par. Now the polecat. I kinda of wanna lay up, but the polecat's losing anyway, so if I want any chance of this winning, I've gotta make it. <laughs> it wasn't even a good layup. A make here would secure victory for the arrow. The Sonic's still got a tough comeback of a par, so I could probably lay up and the arrow would still win, but I'm gonna go for it anyway. Ooh, that wasn't bad. Right, this is what the Sonic's got left for par. Oh. This is for victory for the arrow. With this wind, it still doesn't feel like a guarantee. There it is, and an unfortunate bogey for the Sonic. So thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you found this interesting. I'm not sure if any of these discs will make my bag, but I'm gonna have a bit more of a play with the Aero, definitely. It seems that the Aero is much better for throwing at full power. If you give the Sonic and the Polecat too much, they turn over, in my hands they turn over. I know I kind of roll my wrist as I let stuff go, so 
that could be it. But yeah, I quite enjoying throwing all of them, but the arrow is just flying really nicely. 